What's up guys, we got a June edition of Motown Mail. This is the crap that I picked up in the month of June 2015. A lot of nice stuff. Uh, I did end up selling my Joey Gallo hat, my Joey Gallo game used hat that I bought when he was back in like high A ball. Uh, I sold it for a pretty penny right after he had that crazy debut. Profited from it, boom. Happy with the, the money I got. So some of this stuff was funded by that nice little uh, nice little sale. Um, still surprised that the guy bought it for what he did. It was, uh, I mean, he bought it for 380 bucks. I bought it for 60. So that was a nice little, uh, nice little profit right there. And he's already back in AAA now. So anyhow, um, I'm not going to make you guys wait. I'll start from the best to the, to the worst for the most part. Um, picked up this, my first autograph of this guy. Not a huge fan of him as a person, um, but still one of the greats of all time. Didn't have an autograph of him. Numbered 32 of 50 from Upper Deck Black Golf, Mr. Tiger Woods. It's got a piece of uh, piece of uh, clothing that he never wore behind it, but according to Upper Deck, he did. But uh, I got a few autograph. It's kind of a cool looking, lustrous. It's on the acetate, so pretty happy with that. Again, that's numbered 32 of 50. First ever Tiger Woods autograph. So I got that. Uh, picked up this first autograph of this fella, uh, Bo Jackson, Upper Deck Black, on card auto, numbered to 65, 56 to 65. Nice on card gold auto. So that's pretty nifty. Uh, for the 99 Epic, Upper Deck Epic Signature Set, Willie McCovey. And another addition to that set, the Mr. Bob Gibson. Wish that audio, autograph was a little bit more centered, but uh, I will take it. Still nice, crisp blue. A lot of the cards in this set and my 2000 Legendary Signature Set, the, uh, the ink is kind of faded somewhat. It's not a real bright blue, but these are all nice and bright, so... Uh, 2000 uh, Legendary Signatures set pickups, Roger the Rocket Clemens. I think that's a short print. Not too many of those pop up, so happy to knock that one out of the way. Dale Murphy. Not doing this set, but if I ever do a football set again, it may be this set. So the yeah, 99 Upper Deck. Epic signatures. Dick Butkus. I probably will end up picking the Gale Sayers up. That way I have Butkus and Sayers from this set at the very bare minimum. So I've got that. Always wanted an autograph of this guy. Probably still the greatest Bears quarterback of all time, which isn't saying much, but still Hall of Famer. He passed away a year after this certified auto came out. I believe it's the only certified autograph he has from 1997. Leaf on card auto of Sid Luckman. So that's a pretty cool card. Uh, I've had one of these. I've had this card on my watch list for quite a while. Usually they're just they're buy it now. I mean you can get them, but finally one popped up for auction and I wanted for fifteen to twenty bucks less than they normally go for. So I was pretty excited about that. So Sid Luckman. Um, I guess I'll make it official. Why not? But I'll be very selective in what I pick up of his. Only autographs, no no jerseys unless there's an autograph on the card. Uh, I guess my new PC guy, Mr. Paul Goldschmidt. Da -da -da. This is a 2013 Tops Five Star Silver Signature, number 10 of 20. That's one half. Paul Goldschmidt on card silver autograph. Unfortunately, his stuff is starting to climb in price, so it's probably a bad time to start collecting him, but I got like six of his autos, I think, now. So, like I said, I'm not going to go crazy picking up his stuff, but if I see nice autographs that I like, I will be uh, bidding. Um, I bought this only because I ended up selling my only Andy Pettit autograph um, to a guy that was doing the set. He was doing like the 96 Collector's Choice set. I had the card he needed. It was my only Andy Pettit. Um, so with the money that he gave to me from that purchase, I ended up buying this certified auto. I ended up paying like 10 bucks extra. This is the 2000, I'm sorry, 97 Donruss Signature Series Millennium Marks Andy Pettit. So that's a nice little upgrade from just a TTM Collector's Choice Auto. So happy with that. 
that this guy's guy's going to be a stud. He already is. Um, on card auto from Bowman Platinum. This was a GMA 10, wherever the hell GMA is, but I busted it out, put it in a magnetic. Um, Carlos Correa. I remember when he was in low A ball, I ended up leaving the game after Graffin at the stadium. Um, after the actually after the team bus left, and I saw him walking to the subway by himself, and now he's a star. Anyway, picked up this ball because the seller simply labeled the auction as autographed baseball. He failed to mention it was signed by the first ever American League, uh, first ever African American in the American League, Mr. Larry Doby. So. This is actually an upgrade to the Larry Doby signed ball I already had because this doesn't have any spotting. It is an official American League Gene Buddig ball. So I will just end up selling my other Doby ball that's uh, kind of got some spotting issues. So very happy with that. $19. Um, dirt cheap. TTM success from the current commissioner of Major League Baseball, Mr. Rob Manfred. I simply sent him an autograph request saying, hey, do you mind sending me a signed baseball? And then a couple weeks later, this showed up in the mailbox. So uh, for the cost of a 49 cents stamp, I have this nice uh, Rob Manfred signed official Major League ball with his facsimile right there. I got Selig that way as well when he was still in office, so it's real nice to get the current commissioner on that as well. So we're going to come back with part two of the video. And we're back with part two. Um, these actually came in today. That's why they're not in better cases. Um, Cubs have possibly, they've been uh, interested in him for a while now. Maybe with the Cubs, maybe not. Um, this is my first autograph card. 2008 Triple Threads, number 66 of 99, Cole Hamels. And that's an eBay 101 because if you flip it down, upside down, it's still 66 of 99. So... Cole Hamill's autograph. I had like a signed ticket stub, so it's nice to get an actual card of him. And another guy that I think will eventually become a Cub, currently with the Detroit Tigers. This is a on-card rookie Bowman Chrome Auto, David Price. So I got that really cheap too. Um, it's a seller in Canada, so it took a little bit to get here. Centering's a little bit of I don't grade cards anyway, so I don't really care about the centering. So call me old school. And one of the top pitchers in the National League this year, I got this card. 2013 Tops Chrome Refractor Rookie On Card Auto number to $4.99 of Shelby Miller. I got that for like eleven bucks, and it also came with all these. So these usually go for like fifteen. I got all these for eleven. So does that make sense? So I pretty much got that and then a bunch of these and i have really no idea what i'm doing with these because i don't collect anything unless there's ink on it but they're free pretty much in my opinion because i would have bought that card for 11 bucks um it's got just like refractors and more refractors it's got some tops heritage chromes with trevor rosenthal I got some of those more rookies i got uh four bowman chrome rookies good condition on those um got some bowman platinum rookies for those, let's see, got some other Your Bowman's, some Topps Chrome Refractor, not numbered, Bowman Chrome Refractor, numbered to 500, so, Ginter, regular Bowman, so, next, card show purchases, as usual, all of my purchases came exclusively from Doug, Northern Illinois Graphs, unfortunately he doesn't really post anything on YouTube anymore, but, uh, got all these from him. Uh, one of the top pitchers in the National League this year. A uh, piece of fake jersey, numbered to 799, 82 of 79, 82 of 799. Garrett Cole. That's with the Pirates. That's when he uh, was on Team USA, so it's pretty cool looking. It, unfortunately, it was a sticker auto, but uh, got that. First certified auto of Garrett Cole. This guy's on an unbelievable roll as of right now. He's gotten 10 strikeouts in eight straight starts um but because the white Sox suck so bad he's got like i forgot how many wins like two or three wins in that span it's absolutely pathetic uh this is an on-card auto from national treasures number 28 with 99 with a flag chris sale so got that 
Uh, I saw that actually at the last card show that Doug was set up at, and I regretted not buying it, and sure enough, it was still there uh, for this card show, so I didn't make the same mistake, and I picked it up this time. So I got that. Also got this one. Pretty cheap. Uh, Tops 5 Star. What up, Sictifer? Number 151 of 399, Chris Sale. So, got a few Chris Sales now. Um, got these as well. Uh, first certified auto of Edgar Martinez. Maybe the best DH of all time, right? From Tops Tech. It's actually, I think, my first Tops Tech auto. This one along with my first autograph of Ioannis Cespedes. First auto of Cespedes. One of the funnest names to say. Uh, one of the White Sox top prospects, if not the top prospect. I got this for like two bucks. Uh, Tim Anderson. And Doug gave this to me because Doug's Doug and he had no use and nobody in the right mind would buy an autograph of Andres Biedrinch. So trying to keep that Andres Biedrinch collection alive, here's an on, or on sticker auto from Bowman Signature. It's actually an uncirculated car, but the, the case is so scratched up, I busted that out and got my fingerprints all over and now it's not uncirculated anymore. So got that. Thank you, Doug. I should probably put my David Price autograph back in the top loader as I'm slamming cards down just in case I don't have a, a mishap and damage my David Price Bowman Chrome Rookie Auto, right? Alright. Um, I'm going to come back with part three because, quite frankly, I don't trust my memory card. Much to my surprise, the memory card is still working good. Um, so, part three of my June 2015 pickups. This guy is going to be a star. It is a clear acetate auto. Um, so let me put a little index card behind it. Uh, another fun name to say. This is a non-acetate auto from Ice. Um, Table Terra Vinen. Table Terra Vinen. So, nice addition there. You guys have noticed I've been picking up a lot of Blackhawk stuff. I'm getting more into hockey. Um, which I don't think is a good thing because that's more stuff to buy. Um, but I've reached the point where I've gotten just about everything I want in the three other major sports, so I figured I might as well just kind of diversify my collection with some hockey stuff. So got that nice table before his stuff really went up. I got that about a month ago, so I got it. I, I think that's already like doubled in price. Uh, I got this um, Hall of Famer Tony Esposito on card on card rookie auto. He played, you know. Back in the 60s, this is a rookie auto, apparently. Never mind. 2012-2013 Panini Prime on-card auto, number 39 of 50 of Tony Esposito. Real nice design there. Plus, hockey cards look great. A lot of color. Just, they look nice, so. And they're usually pretty cheap compared to the other sports because of the, they don't have much of a following compared to the others, so. It's Tony Esposito. And nice uh, on-card auto. I got this for a third of what they normally go for. I'm not real sure why. It ended at kind of at a weird time early afternoon. 2013-14 Ultimate Hockey on-card auto of Jeremy Roenick. So that's all my hockey pickups for you guys who don't care about hockey. So you don't have to suffer through that anymore. Um, got this because he's tearing it up very quietly in AA. Um, leading all of the minor leagues in home runs. Uh, he was a third-round draft pick at the Twinkies back in 20, uh, 2012. This is number 89, a 250 purple border auto of Adam Brett Walker. I met him in uh, low A ball. Super nice guy, too. Um, he's from Milwaukee, so he's not too far from here. Um, real nice guy, though. But his stuff's pretty cheap, and look at his numbers. And You may want to pick up some Adam Brett Walker. I guess just Adam Walker now. But Anyway, got that. Um... 90 score pickup. Nice to get this one. Bobby Ojeda. Nice to get that one out of the way. Down to needing 71 of the 704 cards. So I'm just under the 90% completion on that 700 card set. I try to get Fred Lynn. Fred Lynn charges, I think, like 35 bucks. I don't feel like paying 35 bucks for a Fred Lynn autograph. So I sent him a request, TTM, saying, hey, can you personalize this card? It's for my set. I'd really appreciate it. And he sent it back unsigned, but he did include a signed and personalized index card. Usually he sends a blue index card, so I should feel lucky that I got a regular white index card. And of course, it is personalized. So, 
so much for that uh, that method of getting uh, Fred Linton. So I'll probably have to plunk down the money someday for the to get that card signed. Uh, TTM success here from Gail Sayers. Ten dollars per autograph donation. Not required, but encouraged. Um, three nice autographs. 2014 classics, number two, two grand. Gail Sayers. Obviously, wish he signed in blue, but uh, I will take what I can from the Bears. Great. This is a nice looking card. Um, what up, sixty? For passing the torch, two thousand number to fifteen hundred. Gail Sayers. And uh, this nice two thousand Fleer greats of the game, Gail Sayers. So can't beat that for you know a donation. So um pretty this is a pretty cool ttm success um i sent them this signature card which i think is auto penned so this will go on my auto pen box um jerry reinsdorf current owner of the bulls and the white Sox. uh like i said i think that's auto pen but this one is authentic this is his business card it's a pretty sweet looking business card um like the world series trophies got like embossing on it and it's pretty cool looking probably can't pick it up in the video but uh, Jerry Reinsdorf signed business card on the back. It's the Bulls side, which I kind of wish he signed because I hate the Sox, but uh, I will take that for sure. Um, got these from the Arizona Diamondbacks team address. Uh, Luis Gonzalez, Gonzo, signed three of three. There's your one. There's your two. And there's your three. Pretty reputable uh, TTM signer. So if you guys want to get your Luis Gonzalez card signed for 98 cents in postage, sign a couple cards to the Diamondbacks. Um, Seinfeld success. Uh, Mr. Wilhelm signed this one perfectly this time. Uh, he sent, I can't remember if I told you guys, I sent a letter and request to him to sign one of these Seinfeld playing cards. He signed it, um, on the wrong side. And then he sent me a letter saying, hey, do you mind sending me a few Seinfeld cards? Which I did. But then I also said, hey, can you please try again and sign this one the correct way? And he did. So I'm very happy with that. Signed it, Mr. Wilhelm. Uh, Richard Hurd. So I'm very happy with that. TTM success from the inventor of the cell phone, Martin Cooper. So that's kind of funky. Uh, you know, going away from the sports a little bit there. Martin Cooper, inventor of the cell phone. Ted Turner. Got him on a uh, signature card here. Pretty good TTM uh, signer. Uh, TTM success, and this is it, this is the last thing, of uh, Harry Gallatin, Harry the Horse Gallatin, um, signed my card. I think he's got a tendency to personalize, so it's kind of nice to not get that one personalized. So I got that, as well as my productive index card, says two Philip Best Wishes, Harry Gallatin, New York Knicks 48 to 57, Detroit Pistons 57 to 58, Hall of Fame 91. So, a lot of stuff this, uh, this month. Um, so that's it. I will have a video with my COMC.com pickups, uh, soon. Some nice stuff there as well. So that's all I got for now, guys. I want to thank you all for watching, and as always, please stay safe.